Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Hoi San Yong, CIO for Oasis KSJ. Is there an um, a renaissance in uh, cardiometabolic innovation? And uh, what are the primary care drugs? Yeah. You know, again, like uh, we go V and and Zepbound, you know, have have driven a lot of interest. Uh -huh. If you if you talk with uh, big pharma companies about the obesity space writ large, but we're also seeing um, a, a lot of interest, like a reinvigorated interest in in primary care drugs, and part of this is again referencing that there are uh, better ways to go at the molecular drivers of of, of disease, uh, like the genetics, um, and I and I and I think you'll you'll see a lot of approaches that will utilize not just um, you know weight loss but think about it as part of a significant solution to 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 address chronic uh disease and so you know i think part of the attraction of investing in this in this in a fund that focuses on obesity and chronic metabolic disease is that you're 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 seeing that sea change of companies being able to invest more into primary care uh, and disease and I think that's still early and a bit underappreciated by, by uh, the market. Right. Maybe right now we can move on to the the cancer and the oncology. I mean, uh, what uh, company are you looking at? Uh, and uh, of course, this is, this space is important, yeah. And uh, what do you expect the growth to be? Yeah. So you know, for sure, uh, cancer just down da after after cardiovascular disease is the number number two a killer um, and and it's just hugely burdensome in terms of cost the society and of course you know we all probably know of some some someone close to, to a friend or family who has been devastated by by the impact of 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 cancer and i think a, a lot of it is you know very much part of a process of aging. There are definitely genetic factors. There's there's certainly lifestyle factors, environmental factors, but but it, it remains a problem of of aging. You know, but at the same time, I would say there's just been a lot of innovation um, and an innovation that's accelerating um, in, in in the industry. Cancer in very many respects has been one of the the areas where the biology, the knowledge of the biology has been applied knowledge of genetics and immunology have been applied and and the other thing that's interesting about cancer is, is um, there are more currently although this is changing in other disease areas but there are a lot more diagnostic tools um, uh, being utilized uh, you know and that gets at you know what are the the actual causes often there are mutations in in signaling pathways for example um, uh, and and oncogenes etc where 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 people can characterize them through the use of diagnostics and and very much target the therapies appropriately to avoid you know to mitigate um some impacts on on safety and safety um and we can talk a little bit more about part of this revolution involves uh, go, moving away from general chemotherapy the other thing I'll mention is that when you start, when we talk about things like um, tools like AI, um, I think it, 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 you'll you'll start seeing that quite a bit from the drug discovery side applied uh, as well to to cancer, uh, because there's a lot of pathways that have been uh, discovered um, and ways to improve upon. Uh, AI and technology are lying across um, all these drug discovery and uh, making uh, the treatment more personalized and more targeted. Yeah, and uh, within this space uh, of uh, the uh, oncology, cancer, and the obesity and and the cardio uh, metabolic, uh, what do you see are the main drivers and tailwinds? <laughs>